record on this computer. Here we go. Happy Monday, not live. Thanks for joining us. We're going to have a super fun meeting tonight because I'm not doing it all. <laughs> I have guests that are going to be speaking, which is going to make it a super awesome and fun meeting. And we are going to shake up the meetings where we have some different people that are doing parts of the meeting and it won't always be me. So if you want to jump in and be part of the meeting, all you need to do is let me know and we'll get you in there. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get started with a word of prayer and then we'll. Um, Hop in, okay? Heavenly Father, we love you so much. We just thank you for health and life and family and friends. We thank you for um, all that you do for us, Lord. Your faithfulness, your goodness, your love. Um, and Lord, as we go into this busy holiday season, I ask that you would just help us to be peaceful and calm and keep our eyes on you because this is really all about you. But sometimes we get busy with so many other things, Lord. I ask that you would just help us to prioritize correctly and to really enjoy just time with family and friends and not be um, caught up in the hustle and bustle of things, Lord. I ask that you would um, be with our consultants Oh my goodness, help them to have great holiday sales, help them to bless people in their life with the product, their service and the opportunity, Lord, and help them to have boldness and courage as they grow their business. We love you, Lord. We ask these things in your son's most awesome and precious name. Amen. Okay, here we go, girls. Really quick, I'm going to just go over a couple reminders since we haven't had a meeting in two weeks and y'all know who it is. We have to be reminded about things because we forget. First thing is, oh, I found that these are kind of fun because they're kind of, you know, warm fall colors, but our drawing for tonight are these really fun kind of goldy, goldy earrings. So we'll do that at the end. But our $100 day drawing for the month is this. Isn't this cute? Be your best, y'all. So stinking cute. So make sure when you have a $100 day that you post it or let me know. Also, um, it's a wonderful pink life. When you order 300 wholesale, you can get the beautiful blessed bracelet. Love that. And the girls that have done that so far, we already have some achievers of that. We've got Becca Brown, Renee okay. Taylor, Janet Banks, Leslie Dolgener, and Tara Jones. Yay, good job, girls. Okay, we also have a couple of Powered by Pink Achievers as well. And, oh, y'all, did I hit record? I did, okay. I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to record. Isn't that beautiful? I just got mine in. Whoops, there we go. It's all backwards. It's not pretty. So it matches the necklace if you earn the July necklace that matches it. It's really, really pretty. So there's that. Okay, quick reminder, Thursday night, we're doing a guest event, Pumpkin Spice Latte Looks. It's going to be on the same um, Zoom meeting ID because I book them all. So it's the same one every Monday night live and every guest event, okay? So make sure you get some guests for that. When you have two guests, you do get a surprise for me. So just saying, want to have your guests on this Thursday, the 18th, it's 7.30 Central, and it's always an hour or less, okay? And we do product drawings. It's really fun. So get some guests on. Oh, and I forgot. I got so involved in the necklace. We already have some gals that have earned it and I forgot to say it. There we go. Back to the necklace. Janet Banks and Leslie Dolgener have already earned theirs. So yay. Good job. Okay. Now I'm about to turn it over. So we went to retreat. That's where we were. Gosh, a week ago. It's crazy how time flies. But what I'm going to do is have a couple of the gals that were at retreat share with you just what they got from the few days away, um, what they loved about it, what really maybe, you know, was impactful for them to go home and do in their Mary Kay business. So I'm going to go ahead and let um, Tiffany go first, and I'm going to go ahead and make you the spotlight. Hang on. And if you have a little sweet puppy. You might want to mute. Okay, here we That's go. That's mine. It's uh, not little or sweet. <laughs> what? Not sweet. Not okay. sweet. Not sweet. Okay, Tiffany, take it away, girl. Well, first of all, if um, you've never been to retreat, it was amazing. So be there next year. Um, it was very relaxing and something that I needed personally and gained a lot of insight and also made some new friends, both locally and afar. So that was also good. Um, I'm just going to share a few things that I have highlighted in my in my book from this study that we did. And we did a study um, leading from here to there. And a lot of it, 
I could relate to um, my Mary Kay business, but also to my personal life and my, my, uh, my career too, as well. But I'm going to just jump right in. And one of the things that was from the very first day I wrote down is vision is a picture of the future that produces passion in people. Vision is a picture of the future that produces passion in people. And the next thing that really helped me is, and this wasn't even from the study, but it was something that our national shared with us. And Patty said that she learned from somebody about treasure boxes. And she learned that if you put each of the important areas in your life, and especially God, family, career in different boxes, and you make sure that you focus on that box and close the others while you're working on one area of your life or one box. So if you're having your spiritual time, put aside your your Mary Kay time or your career and your family and focus on that. And the same with your Mary Kay business or your, your career, make sure you put those in different boxes and try to keep them separate so you can focus on one thing at a time. And something else that really helped me was I thought when I restarted the, the Mary Kay journey, I thought that I was going to have to choose between Mary Kay or my career. And for those of you, some of you know that I work in the nonprofit sector and I really enjoy that. And I was struggling with, well, do I need to put one aside or focus more on one? But what we learned was that Mary Kay can be the vehicle that helps us to carry on our, some, our passions and our dreams. It can be a tool as far as financially to help us pay for some of those passions and to provide us with more options and choices. And that really helped me because now I just need to focus on putting things in my different treasure boxes and focus on one thing at a time. But I can, if I effectively manage my time, I can, I can do it all. And um, one can help me in, in the other areas. Um, but it was very, a very relaxing few days and we, we didn't spend the whole time on training, which helped us. And we had some walking time and just, we, um, spent time around the, the campfire, which was nice. And I'm sure you saw some of the photos, but I would really encourage all of you to try to, to get there next year or, or to participate in any, any of the, the, the events that our sales director or our national or the company puts on because it's all very valuable training. And I'm really glad I went. Okay, good job. Yay, Tiffany. Does anybody have any questions for Tiffany about anything she shared? I know that one quote she shared at the beginning is just such a powerful quote. Sometimes you have to be like, yeah, think on it a little bit. Does anybody have any questions for her? You can put it in the chat box or you can just ask anyone. Okay. All right. If you think of one later, chat box away. Thank you, Tiffany. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, Dorothy, you are up next. I'm going to go ahead and whoops, I'm going to unpin and now I'm going to pin you. Okay, Dorothy, there you are. Take it away, girl. All right. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to give it a few. Um, this was really um, special because even though I've been at many retreats, um, this was a smaller group, so I was able to talk to a lot of the women, um, and even Nathan Moore talked in his speech about principles, values, um, making others feel important, you know, uh, the importance of our golden rule, God first, family second, career third. So, you know, I've always known that, you know, those that was our mission statement and our vision, even for Mary Kay Ash. Um, but I feel like I forget all those things just with life being so busy and everything, you know, I, I forget that 
there's something that someone will hone into and that make that special for them. Um, and just like um, one of the ladies said that, you know, are the money, the money is what really brought her into the group and just really hearing with you. Um, somebody in, a long time ago told me not to ever say anything about the money because it would just be too much information. But, you know, and just leading, just listening to everybody talk. Each one had like their own, you know, what special that brought them into the business. So one was money, one was um, the women, the fellowship. And I feel like, you know, this is also a special ministry for a lot of women because it, there has been many gatherings that I've sat with women and we talk about God, we talk about our family, we talk about our kids, and that just brings us closer together. So I really thought that was really special. And, and especially because I met a lot of women at many retreats ago, and we were able, because it was a small group, we were able to actually interact and know about each other's life. And um, that was really special. <laughs> just to know each and every one on a personal basis but um and in the book that we went over with um leading from here to there there was also uh, a section where skills and action activity where it says pursue your unique calling and um I was even questioning my calling at one time and thinking back I've always been in leadership because I've always had um, uh, like assistant um, managers telling me that they wanted me to move up or, or general managers to move up and be a manager. And I managed many salons. Um, and sometimes I was afraid to jump in because um, I didn't think I can do it. Um, but they saw something in me. And so I feel like I'm just not, I'm just in my head too much. <laughs> that I just need to, you know, embrace what I already know. And, you know, I feel like God has put me here to really enrich women's lives as well because I've been doing it all along. But, you know, just every day with work, I, I do get in my head a lot and I feel like it's too overwhelming. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad we had a talk, Melissa, on the way home. And there's things that we can do to make it easier with just, um, doing samples and not having to carry a lot of stuff around because, you know, I do have back issues and things like that. So I really felt like I really needed that. And it kind of helped spark and reignite my passion for, you know, my business. So I really appreciate, you know, the, this leadership conference because it was really good. Great. Thank you, Dorothy. That's awesome. Yeah. Anybody have any questions or thoughts for Dorothy? I know everybody's muted out, but you can always go in the chat box if you want. I kind of put them on the spot if they had questions or anything. But um, what, what I'll tell you guys, let me thank you, Dorothy. I appreciate you speaking. And yeah. I, um, Susan, her daughter is sick, so she can't get on right now. So um, anyway, let me pin me again. Um, but one thing is that um, this was a really neat one, like Dorothy was saying, it was small, and I think Tiffany even mentioned it too, it was a very small event, it was a very, very different event, and I think what we need to realize, the world has changed in the last almost two years, the world has changed, and so Mary Kay has to change with it, so I was really grateful that we did things very differently, um, but I loved what Tiffany talked about too, you know, like Dorothy recognized from being there, because as she said, sometimes we're so busy, we don't sit and really think about what is my unique calling? Like, why am I on this earth? And how does Mary Kay play into that as far as what God's called me to do? Sometimes we're just too busy, right? Just so busy getting through the day, the week, the month, and we all know how time flies. So um, I loved it. It made us all ponder a little bit, like, what is my unique calling? Calling, And so Dorothy recognized, gosh, leadership, I'm always in leadership. You know what I mean? Like, I, I didn't really think about it till now, but I've always been in leadership. And I loved how Tiffany, one of the things she got was the freedom to be like, I can keep my job that I feel called to in my work but then also bring Mary Kay alongside, I don't have to pick one or the other. And so I thought those were great, 
So two really great takeaways that they got from the weekend. Um, and, you know, I think I just felt just so grateful that I'm still a Mary Kay all these years later because it has just given me freedom and flexibility that's been really important in my life over the last few months with everything that's happened. And I just was like, I just love these women. I love it's a sisterhood of women that you can trust that are, you know, godly trying to do their best. You know, we, we aren't always surrounded by really good mentors out in the world, right? Would y'all agree? People are famous. That doesn't mean they're good mentor. <laughs> There's some wild and crazy out there that has the spotlight, right? So that's one thing that stays the same in Mary Kay is that our company is God first, family second, career third, and that we are going to be surrounded with godly women. And you know what? We need that. We need that as women. We need to see women and be encouraged by them that are trying to live the same lives we're trying to live of God, family, and career. So I just love that about Mary Kay. So even there's, we may change how we do things with the times and now we're more virtual and, and doing samples and those kind of things. But the heart of Mary Kay is the same because we, we want to uphold the principles she started the company with all those years ago. So anyway, all right, that was my takeaway. So I'm going to go ahead now real quick. I'm going to do a quick uh, commercial and then we're going to turn it over to our product knowledge gal for tonight. Guess what today is? The 15th. Guess what else today means? You can order the new Winterline products. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to do a video because it's been nuts. I did my open house on Friday, so I have not had a chance to do it. We were packaging up some things today, but I will get a video out going over all the new Winterline products, but it is available today. So there you go. Now we're going to turn it over to Susan Bell, and she's going to do product knowledge for us tonight. So hang on, Susan. Let me pin you. Does that sound funny? Okay. Take it away, Susan. Oh, wait, 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 you're muted. Hang on. Hang on. I muted my dog. Okay, there you go. Oh, okay. You muted your dog, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so when Melissa asked me to do this, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Because I like this and I like that. And I like oh, where did you want that? I'm not, I don't have my video on. I'm sorry. Have your video on. I don't want to be seen or heard. <laughs> Who me? Becca, your video on me. <laughs> Becca. So, so we're traveling this week. I have a very close friend whose um, mother died, and we had a funeral to attend. So, I'm in Tyler actually right oh. now. Uh, so, anyway, so I have my bag packed. <laughs> <laughs> so i have to tell you about um probably my most favorite thing is my time wise repair um i've used the 3d too but i've i've tried to, i've gone back because you know it's not exactly expensive but i can't i can't go back out I, I love it and my most favorite product and this really became my favorite product when I was sick with COVID and in the hospital was the night cream. Let me tell you, COVID wreaked havoc on my hair and skin. Mm. And I called, my husband was home sick. So I called, I called him. I'm like, this friend of mine's going to come by and I really need, I mean, I'm not talking normally like this, but I really need that Mary Kay tub that's silver <laughs> on the bottom and pink on the top. Cause you know, he was sick and guys don't really know. But because my skin felt like it felt terrible. And when they brought this up here, I, I attribute my improvement while I was there. And even the nurses were able to say, hey, it, it was just awful. But uh, what I love about this, and you know, now I'm, I try to be really good at morning and night, but I never miss this at night because um, it does have retinol, which, but it is so the moisturizer in it is so good. And I live in Odessa and it is very dry out there. And if you'd ever told me I was going to have dry skin, I would have said, y'all are crazy. I have very dry skin now and very dry hair. So this does have a little retinol in it that helps with, um, it's not the pure retinol like our clinical solutions, which I love that too. But this does help with sagging skin, keeping that moisture balance that we need. I mean, I can tell if, I could tell so much difference when I didn't use this when I was sick 
then, then like after I put it on, the next day was such a difference in my skincare. So it helps improve skin elasticity. Um, it makes it look restored. Uh, I always think, you know, I'm not getting, I'm 50, I just turned 56. And most people are like, you're 56? And I, that's what I attribute Mary Kay and this, this stuff to is that it does help turn back time. It does help you look younger and, and reduces those lines and wrinkles and um, gives your skin a clarity that, you know, when we get older, because we don't have that elasticity and we don't have that young, luminous look, I think this really helps with that. Um, so, you know, the first thing people see when they meet us is our face. So, you know, we'll spend a hundred dollars on a dress. And, and that's what I always tell my husband. He's like, okay. Cause he's like, how much is that kit house? I'm like, it's, I get a half price. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and I'm working, so it really doesn't matter. But um, this is probably by far my favorite product. Um, something else I fall in love with, I got me a skin invigorating. So when I was in the hospital, and I started getting better. I really started shopping a lot. And I was like, so I bought me the skin invigorating brush. I love that thing. <laughs> I don't need to be off work or anything down because I spend a lot of time. So I was like, ordered everything on the Mary Kay website. But, um, and the nice thing about these products is they have been scientifically proven to do what they say they will do. You know, it's not just like you run to the store and pick up, Revlon's moisturizer who's no one they just make this up and it, this stuff does what it says it's going to do and I do believe it makes a difference it's not for everyone as far as you know I'm of an age that I'm aging quicker I don't have that elasticity I had my skin so I need that extra help mm -hmm. you know younger women can use the 3d my daughters use it and you know it works really well for them but it just doesn't provide me with enough of what I'm losing because of aging that I can put it back. Um, so there's been extensive scientific testing. This stuff is, I mean, the whole repair set is, it's been tested for allergens for people for, with people for sensitive skin. It works. It's fragrance free. It's oil free. So um, except the, the um, acrine, I couldn't think of the word. That's a COVID brain too. You can't think of words. <laughs> <laughs> so it does have the and I like the eye cream that they have especially that little slant you can run it under some warm water and put it on your eye that's wonderful um so it doesn't that does have oil in it but these products don't have oil because even like me sometimes I'll get I can't have that heavy oilness because I'll get a little breakout or whatever so you know it's not going to cause your skin to break out anymore um it's good if you wear contacts. It doesn't, I mean, I've actually got this in my eye, not on purpose, but you know how sometimes you put stuff on you. <laughs> I do anyway, not everybody does those things, but anyway, it, uh, it didn't burn. It didn't, I just took a washcloth and kind of rinsed my eye out. It didn't bother me. Um, so, I mean, I highly recommend this for ladies my age. And I was reading, I was like, they tested 33 to 45 year old women in this, in a lot of the tests with it. And I'm like, 45 isn't old. <laughs> they needed to test 45 to 65, but anyway, uh, but it's great. Um, I love the whole product and I love it all fit in my little bag that I can carry with me and I make sure I have everything. Um, and here's the brush, y'all. I'm telling you, I'll get you one of these things. So that is probably, I mean, I have so many favorite products, but I think because I was sick, and I was having such, this just became my, like, if I have to be on a desert island, this is what I'm going <laughs> to do with me, because it does work. It does work. So <laughs> it's go. great products. And I can't tell you every Mary Kay products. Awesome. Okay. And when they do away with one, I'm like, stop, <laughs> just keep them all. <laughs> yeah. So how much is the time-wise repair? The time-wise repair is um the full like i don't it's not called miracle but i can't it's 318 the um next one else 285 205 205 i know it's two something but 
anyway, um, it comes with the cleanser, which I really like. And I use this morning and night, unless I'm really lazy, then I use my micellar water. But so this goes back and forth when I'm taking a shower, it's in the shower with me. And then I take it out of the shower and take it to the bathroom. So it, I'm telling y'all, your skin looks great after using this I little know, brush it does. in the morning. It, it really does. does. It's like, it, it just gives it that oxygen flowing in there and coming. And then it has the advanced lifting serum, which I'm about out of. Uh, and then it has the day cream, which mm -hmm. has sunscreen in it, mm -hmm. SPF 30. So, and then look at this, this is, this is way cool. I mean, I don't know, you probably all have seen this, but I love this little thing. And if you want run warm water over this and then do your eye in the mornings, it's wonderful. I don't, I mean, I have puffy eyes sometimes, so. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's daily, except the night I use my um, clinical solutions. And I was scared because I went back to clinical solutions right after I got sick. I went back and I thought, am I going to have to do that retinization again? Because <laughs> I had missed it for so long, but I didn't. Uh you didn't have to and how much is the Taiwan's repair night cream it is 52 52 right, okay so, so our price would be 20 20 27 50 50. no not 20 26 50 no, 26 50 no that's not right either <laughs> well listen you don't have to be good at math to do Mary Kay <laughs> amen to that <laughs> It, what is it it's, i'll figure it out it's 52 it's regularly 26. It. it's 26, 26. <laughs> yeah <laughs> what was i getting at 50 anyway it's 26 dollars your cost mm -hmm. so any of your customers that have that are you know older and and, and i you can tell i can tell when it you know like my lines that i even that were starting to kind of come back when I started using this in the hospital, I could see them going away. Wow. So, yeah. You know, it just, I was trying to find something along with something to ease the pain the, in my head. The deeper lines, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yay, Susan. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to just tell you something. Susan did a really good thing. And you know what she did? She didn't tell you one ingredient in there. But what she did do is she, she, her enthusiasm and love for the product will make people want to try it. So I think sometimes when people are doing Mary Kay, people think, oh, I, I, I don't know the ingredients. I don't know how to present it. You using the product and you, oh, I forgot to remove your pen, sorry. Um, you using the product and you being enthusiastic and sharing it, that's what sells more product than anything. You knowing the ingredients and all that does not do it near as much as you just being like, oh my gosh, I love this. When I wasn't using it, and then when I started using it, this is what I saw. Like your testimonial is gold, you guys. I hope you realize the power of it. And Susan did a great job, but just because she loves the product so much, she's probably selling tons of it because she's excited about it and she loves it. So just remember that's how, that's how your friends and family and your customers are when you share a product with enthusiasm and excitement, like, oh my gosh, when I started using it, this is what I saw. What else do you need to say except the price, right? Okay, so good job, Susan. That's awesome. And Janet, she's so funny. She said, when I turned 40, then 80 looked real good. <laughs> I love the time wise repair. I've used it since 2019 when Melissa introduced me to it. It's wonderful. I'm 65 and love it. Yeah, it's a great product. So um, I just want y'all to know the power is you, you guys, when you're selling the product and just doing it with enthusiasm, when you love the products, that's what sells it. Okay. It's really easy. Mary Kay always said enthusiasm the last three letters are i a m i am sold my i a s m i am sold myself that's what enthusiasm and was you love something whether it's it's a restaurant a movie a book a tv show whatever it is when you're excited about it people want to try it because they're like really and then they're thinking i need to i need to try that so enthusiasm is your power okay all right, before we wrap up tonight, we, we're a little short just because um, Susan wasn't here. She actually, okay, you know what? I forgot. She did text me her message. So y'all are going to have to look at me and listen to Susan. Is that okay with y'all? So she's, 
This is her sharing of what she loved from retreat. All right. And then we'll wrap up. Did y'all notice have red lips on? Do y'all notice that it's the holidays? We all need to get your red out. This is scarlet red. Just saying, get your red on, girls. It's the holidays. Makes us happy to wear some red lipstick. Okay. Oh, hang on. I got to make it louder. There we go. All right. Here we go. We'll start again. Maybe. Maybe we'll do it again. Here we go. Come into Boxer and. Hey, everybody. This is Susan. Uh, I just wanted to come into Boxer and uh, share a little bit about what I took away from the retreat that we attended last weekend. Um, it was great, and I, I really, really enjoyed it, and it was much needed for me. Um, when we first arrived there, um, our national patty wanted us to write down on our name tag just a word of why we were attending the retreat. What was our purpose, and what did we want to get out of it? And my word was my why, W-H-Y. And I chose that because I wanted to kind of reevaluate why I got into Mary Kay in the first place. And um, as the retreat went along and uh, we listened to this uh, senior pastor who shared on his book uh, about leadership, um, as I began to listen to him, I started realizing that that was not really uh, my purpose of why I needed to be there. And um, as he began to speak, he talked about our vision, uh, our purpose and our vision of what we have um, as far as leadership goes. And um, I realized that as he said that our vision can leak over a period of time until we just absolutely lose sight of it. And I think that that is what I was dealing with at, at the time. Um, I believe that I lost sight of my vision of why I joined Mary Kay um, in the first place. And um, the Bible says that, you know, where there's no vision, the people perish. And it's just like anything um, that we are involved in. So like Mary Kay, if we don't have that clear vision of, you know, why we're even in Mary Kay, then we can lose sight of, you know, what we're wanting to accomplish. And then we just sort of lose it. And um, so that's something that I am, uh, you know, praying about now and thinking of now is what is my vision and um, what my purpose is um, and why I joined Mary Kay in the first place. And um, another thing that really helped me with this retreat was the community that we have with Mary Kay and, uh, you know, all of our friends and and I mean, they're like family to me and just joining again with these ladies and seeing them and being able to just talk to them and uh, we're able to encourage one another. And the roommate that I had, she was just a, a fabulous lady and we were able to, you know, encourage each other and tell each other, you know, hey, girl, we, we got to step up our game and, uh, you know, and things like that. And it was just really a restful, um, peaceful time. And um, I really liked how our national patty put it together. It was more of a, a relaxing time um, as for the other times that we went before because when I got home, Back then, I was always just so tired, but this time I was very rested and just relaxed and ready to 
you know, step back into what I need to step back into. But anyway, um, appreciate y'all listening to me. I feel like I just rambled, but um, I hope that that helps someone tonight. Thank y'all. Hope all of y'all have a great night. Love all y'all. Susan's daughter is sick, so she was um, in Tyler taking care of her. So anyway, so that was a good point too. Like, um, you know, I think sometimes just really quick and I'll wrap up. Sometimes we lose our vision in the middle because our vision does leak. So that was a good point. Um, Susan's as well as that she's praying and she's she's realizing the community is a big part of her love for Mary Kay, but she's she's praying about the rest. So I think it's good. Um, somebody asked in the chat box, what is the name of the book? And it was called Leading from Here to There by Bill Heibel. Leading from Here to There by Bill Heibel. And it's H-Y-B-E-L. I'm pretty sure. Um, it was a really good book. He's, writ he's written some other things. And um, I read a book of his called Whispers, and it was a really wonderful book. So anyway, hey, just to tell y'all, speaking of the community part, I don't know what time we started. I, I think it's time to wrap up. So we are going to start doing some things in the new year once a month in person again. Um, just a lot happened for me in the fall is why I didn't keep on with jeans and pizza, as y'all all know. So um, we're going to pick that up in January so we can at least have some community time face to face. So that's something to look forward to. We are going to have a meeting on the 22nd and the 29th. Um, let me ask everybody really super quick. Are y'all all good with that? I know it's, it's um, Thanksgiving week. But I just wanted to see, are y'all going to be able to be on? Get in the chat box really quick and tell me that, and I'll do the drawing, okay? We, I was planning to do a meeting 22nd, 29th. We've got some fun surprises for you guys. But um, like I said, get in the chat box. If you know you can be on or if you know you're going to be out of town, and um, just let me know, okay? So let me do the drawing while I give you all a chance to do that, okay? Okay, once again, the fun Goldie earrings. Good job, speakers. Thank y'all. And it goes to Angela. Thank and you. Angela has her first appointment tomorrow, and she's so excited. Yay! I'll cheer her on. Angela, we expect a full report in our Facebook group. Let us know how it goes. Okay, let me see what everybody said really quick. Okay, Tiffany said she's good. Emily, Kay, Angela, Becca. Okay, good. We're all on. Okay, you guys, let's wrap up. Um, thank y'all for being on. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Y'all have a great night. I'm going to go ahead and pop this in our Facebook group in a little bit. Thank you all for being on. Love you all. Bye. Bye. Bye.